What's going on guys, George here. Hope you're all amazingly well. Today, I'm gonna to take you through a full day of eating. I'm gonna take you through what I'm eating whilst dieting today. So get your notepads out, write this shit down, follow these meals, give these meals a go, and let me know what you think down below. So my macros for today are 200 grams of protein, 250 grams of carbs, 60 to 65 grams of fat. Now, we want to keep our protein high as we're in a calorie deficit. We want to keep our protein high around, for me, it's around 200. Um, it all depends on how much you weigh. If you weigh 170 pounds, I normally keep it around 200. Carbs, I've decreased my carbs in the last four or five days by 15 grams. I'm slowly going down, so it'll be 15 grams the next couple of days. So 250 grams of carbs and fat is around 60 to 65. I won't be dropping them any soon. So that's how I've worked it out. Now, before I get started, make sure you give me a Snapchat, Instagram, George Osmond 12. Like I always say, especially on Snapchat, I do post my workouts. I do, if you want to see what I get up to more in my personal life, if you've got any questions, hit me up on there. I'm quite frequent on Snapchat. So get me on both of them. George Osmond 12 should be down here somewhere. On to the video. 167.6. Just got into the old gymnasium, doing some fasted cardio. Um, there's a lot of debate on fasted cardio, whether you should do it in the morning. Uh, does it affect your gains after you do it, after training, before training, at night? For me, just do the fucking cardio at the end of the day. Um, if you can mix up between, do a bit of fasted, um, and do a bit of after workout. I know a lot of people don't have time to do fasted cardio in the morning because obviously you've got work, other commitments to go to, that kind of stuff. But for me, when I'm busy, I do it after I train. So um, I get it in then, 30 minutes on the old Stairmaster. We're gonna train some abs now. I'm gonna take you through my little ab routine I've got at the moment and um, do some cardio. So I'll see you probably throughout. <laughs> Thirty minutes of cardio done. Burn about uh, uh, three hundred fifty calories in about half an hour, which ain't too bad. Took my time with it, but that's what it's all about: getting your cardio in, get your abs in, get out of the gym. I'll see you back at home for meal number one. So I've gone through this thousands of times. The uh, spray I use for my pans every every time I use the pan is a fry light one calorie spray I use sunflower oil you can get olive oil you can get coconut oil I think and what I do is give it a little shake and I just go BAM so a tip of the day from the Georgie boy is have your carbs in and around your training if you wake up and you know you're gonna train late and late at night don't be having high carb meals especially when you're dieting in the morning and you'll run out of carbs um, towards when you trade at 8 o'clock at night for example have your carbs in around your training that is the most important time especially pre-workout you want to get that energy in for that training and post-workout you want to replenish the muscles by putting carbs into the system don't be fucking going to the gym and then coming home and thinking shit I've got no carbs left so I'm just gonna have protein don't be doing that don't make those mistakes have your carbs in and around your training so making an omelette for me is shit let's see if I can actually do it this time one-handed as well Come on. Chee! Oh, ruined it. Okay, so meal number one looks like this. We have two slices of brown multi-loaf bread, whatever it's called. And we have four whole eggs. Squirt a little bit of 50% less sugar and salt ketchup on it. And that's it. Macros will be on the screen for this now. Um, I tend to eat every two to three hours especially when uh dieting or bulking i i just tend to that's how i do it if you're struggling to get the meals in what i'd recommend is having higher calorie meals so you can have like three higher calorie meals instead of having five smaller kind of medium calorie meals if you're struggling but um that's meal number one for me and what i'll be taking with meal number one is one uh multivitamin and mineral tablet and i'll also be taking uh a thousand milligrams of cod liver oil 
So I need to um, go Audi and stock up on a few bits and bobs. I've run out of fucking turkey mint, so um, I might as well do a little food shop and take you guys with me, show you what I get at the moment. Um, and yeah, I just hate, I hate going shopping at the moment whilst I'm hungry, because I just want to eat shit, but I know I can't, so um, yeah, I've got an Audi now. So from Audi, I got some more malty loaf bread. Got some uh, eggs to top up. Got some skinned milk. Got some uh, shower gel. This is banging if you've never tried this. Get some of this, it's banging. It smells gorgeous. Got some bananas, some broccoli, some salmon, and I got two packets, oh shit, two packets of um, turkey mints. For meal number two, we're gonna have some ball in the bag of rice and some 7% fat turkey mints. The seasoning I use on my turkey mints is the chicken stone meal fucking shit from uh, Aldi. You know, standard stuff. If you know, you know. So macros on the screen for meal number two. We have 185 um, grams of turkey mints and we have one packet of ball in the bag of rice. Now typically this would be my uh, pre-workout meal. Obviously as you can see the uh, carbs is quite high in this meal because obviously I get, my, I get my carbs in around my training. Or most of them anyway. So um, that would be my pre-workout meal. I normally spend about uh, about 45 minutes to an hour. Let that digest. Also I take, I forget. I take my digestive enzymes for my uh, pre-workout meal, so it just digests a little bit quicker, so I can utilize that energy within my training session. So that is meal number two. Obviously got a little bit of ketchup on top, meal number two. So I was thinking of doing a meal prep video. I know a lot of you guys are on a student budget or you're on a budget in general, because obviously this is why you watch my shit. But I was thinking in general, just doing another um, meal prep on a budget just showing you how i prep my foods and how to prep your foods more efficiently better and all that kind of all that kind of stuff really i don't know let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a meal prep video so i've literally done fuck all all day i mean well i've done a bit of uni work but that's about it i ain't done fuck all i'm quite bored actually <laughs> i need to do so in my life but um it's five o'clock and it is time for meal number three so meal number three, we're gonna have a shake. We're gonna have milk, banana, oats, creatine, and a scoop of protein. It's got miles over. It can't. Meal number three looks like this. You might have seen this already in my Snapchats. We have 250 grams of skim milk, 150 grams of banana, 46 grams of oats, one scoop of protein, which was 30 grams, and we have a scoop of creatine. So for meal number four, we're gonna have some broccoli, some chicken, and some Oh, the shit house. Jacket potato. So I do, um, I do apologize. This video is not gonna be very um, entertaining. There's not really much happening at the moment. I mean, I'm just being lazy. It's rest day as well. I fucking hate rest day sometimes because it literally is boring. You, like, you wanna go train in it for me. But um, this video is going to be quite boring, so I do apologise for it. <laughs> so for me, towards the end of the night, I don't have um, really high carb meals. I mean, my last meal today is probably not going to have any carbs in it. And this one is only one jacket potato, which is 33 grams of carbs. So towards the end of the day where I don't train, I'm not doing much, my uh, carb intake is very low. So um, that's kind of how I work it out. But right now, I'm craving so much food. I'm thinking about Domino's, I'm thinking about donut. I don't even eat donuts, but I'll fucking eat. Give me any donut and I'll eat it right now. I'm thinking, I don't know. I'm just so hungry. I mean, <laughs> I'm just, 
I just really want to have a dirty day again, a dirty day. Please, someone help me, someone help me. Supplements I'll be having with this meal is one cod liver oil tablet, one vitamin B tablet, and I will be having a, a fake Broca Audi shit vitamin C tablet, which I literally just go... And then it kind of just dissolves in there. And you see upper chest, chest. So meal number... Four looks like this. We have 200 grams of cooked chicken. We have one baked potato and we have a handful of broccoli. Put some ketchup over it. Haters are gonna hate um, ketchup over broccoli. Nothing new for me, but where's my ketchup gang at? I ain't seen none of you boys in a couple of days or ladies. Gang, 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 gang. So um, macros on the screen for that now. Um, and that is meal number four. Being a uni student, having to do your own fucking washing up is a pain. I think of washing up, I think, oh, so much of it. Mum and dad, where are you? Dishwasher, where are you? I need it. Fuck washing up, fucking hate it. Why is it when I'm bored, on, especially on YouTube, I just watch random shit, like I'm watching a bit of Jeremy Carl now. I was watching Haunted Houses last night, and now I'm watching Jeremy Carl. So final meal of the day is gonna be a salmon fillet. Now I'm gonna show you how I prepare my salmon in the oven. So I have a uh, sheet of tin foil, and what I do is I spray, one carry spray, just go bam, bam, bam. Once the salmon, I place the, basically I place the salmon on the uh, fucking tin foil, and what I do is go bam, Bram, spray the top of it, and then I add a little bit of salt and pepper. And then what I do is I just fold it up in a little parcel, and then I shove that in the, I let that oven heat up for about five minutes, shove that in the oven at 200 uh, degrees for 25 minutes. So salmon is done. Look at that. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Got some broccoli on the go, and we're gonna have some raw carrots. I love my raw carrots. So final meal of the day, we have 113 grams of cooked salmon. We have a handful of broccoli, and we also have three carrots. I love my raw carrot. That is steaming up shit. That is uh, my final meal of the day. No carbs for me, like I said earlier. So to conclude the macros for today, we had 2,433 calories. We had 204 grams of protein, 253 grams of carbs, and 67 fat. So all my macros were pretty much here. I'm not going to worry about going over 4 grams of my protein, 3 grams of my carbs, and 2 grams of my fat. is really not going to affect me so do not worry if you go a little bit over your macros than what you intend to so i hope this uh video has helped you uh remember if you go through my channel i have plenty of full days of eating whether you're bulking or cutting um these meals can help you uh achieve your goals remember anything's possible keep at it stay consistent keep lifting heavy progression in the gym is key to um to building muscle you need to progressing in the gym you can't be doing the same weights for the past six months you need to be progressing somehow but um like i said stay consistent get your diet right sort your nutrition out work out what's best for you experiment with your foods and the results will come so if this video has helped make sure you smash that like button tell your mates about it whatever and um comment down below let me know what you want to see let me know what you think of these videos with there's uh things I can do better is there's anything that you think shit or whatever let me know down below thank you for watching if you subscribe if you're new here make sure you subscribe and um, I'll see you guys very very soon let's see if I can do this